Hi there, today I'm checking Prosopokoilovsky Raffa. It's three months since I changed substrates and I tried to make a gender uh, check and divided them into males, what I think are males and what I think are females. And I of course presented the males the big uh, boxes of about five liter and the smaller females only this 500 milliliter half liter uh, kimchi and today I will just make a small check what is the stage the larvae are in how long we wait till we have a look whether adults have emerged that's the job for today so I only check two boxes of uh, males two boxes of what I think have been females and as you probably know there's also a German playlist so if you want to see the other two uh, male and female boxes uh, being controlled you just uh, switch over to the other channel after you've seen uh, this so now what we need here is a box to now first we, we start with the so-called females look this one here <laughs> this is for sure not a female it's a monster though it's even much too big to show it under the macroscopic lens so I have to show it just here it's now if you could hold the the little box you would feel like it shakes because uh, the male now is, is it has a little panic and he wants to give a signal to the other lorry in the substrate that there's an enemy coming so this is a big big uh, male in here so let's see we, we I have this yeah, I would, I would like to take it out uh, carefully so that you see how really, really big they are. They are oh, I mean, these incredibly big for a, for a stack beetle. They are real, mon real monsters, and and you have to be careful that they don't uh, uh, they don't uh, pick you in the finger with this very, very strong mandible that they have. Yeah, like I have to pay attention here. This is it. Oh, now on the weight scale it measures 38.6 grams in a small box like this look it was 21.8 grams 3rd of May three months ago now it gained in this box 17 grams of uh, body weight in 500 milliliter of this kimchi material that's incredible and um, what I will do now is, of course, I know that the Prosopokoyevsky Raffo can't uh, pupate in a small box like that because the animal is bigger than the size of the whole box. So what I do now, I just uh, put it back to the box, say goodbye for some minutes and afterwards I will transfer it to a bigger 5 liter box. So, it's not always the case that you think what well, is a male is a male because no here I didn't write that it's a female but uh, here I did I thought it's a female but of course I always check from outside what is going on inside so this I would guess because you don't see the lorry in the box I would guess it's probably already uh, pupated so I try to take it out very carefully yeah, and look what happened here. It's already a female that we can see here. Yeah, of course, it's a, a nice female. That was the that was the place where she pupated here, down on the bottom of this of this um, 500 milliliter box, and now she's all already on her way uh, to activity. As you see, also the hind legs, they are uh, already pretty here. They are already they are gripping to the surface already. That's a sign that she's active now. But she wants to dig into the substrate. So what we have now is a, is a beautiful uh, female. Let's take it out to just show you under the microscope how she looks like. Well, if we can make it a little bit sharper, that would be very beautiful. So that's it. A female, Prosopocoilus giraffa, K to K, uh, subspecies.
So we have to wait for males. And this one we just put in this original place where she was. Leave it in there. And of course make a note on the on the box that it's a female already. Third third of May it was 13.8 gram. That's um, a lot less than this 22 grams of the of the male uh, at the same uh, date. So next check, five liter box. So I'm also very curious what is happening inside it. We check just the surface of the box. You see here the mycelium of some mushrooms, different one because that brown thing also is from a from a mushroom. And also you see here the mycelium. And if you check the box from the side, you can probably see that there's no sign of a larvae and we, what we do we just carefully take it out and let's see whether it has already pupated or it's still a larvae in here so of course a male has enough substrate in the box like something moves here I don't know what it is but something is moving here so let's have a look what it is uh -huh, it's, a lo it's still a larvae and <laughs> you see it's coming out here so um, we have to pay attention that when you take it out, oh this is also oof, a big one, <laughs> how much is it on the weight scale? Now this is 51 grams, if you don't believe it, look here, check it, 51 grams, a larvae of a stag beetle, over 50 grams, it's too big to be seen under that uh, microscope. And also it's probably a bit too long, so if you if we will measure it exactly it would it would be probably around twelve centimeters long and say fifty grams of a larvae of a stag beetle. It's an incredible size, but if you see the adults later that are over eleven centimeters long, then you know why the larvae are so big. So what we do here same as before, we just put it back, we try not to disturb the whole thing, so we just move it over like that. Okay, so we can eat, go on eating, go on uh, with the development, so I think it will last for another one, two months. Uh, and you see the males, because they are so bigger, they need a lot of time uh, to develop a lot more than the female that we have already seen here one. So let's the second box, just to be sure that we have to wait for the male for another three months. We check it from outside very quickly. Same as before, here on the bottom you see this white thing, also it's the mycelium from a mushroom. And let's have a look what's happening inside here. Now what we see first is that there are... Um, that there are, <laughs> I'm a bit, <laughs> yeah, because if you press on it, you will see that it moves here on the knee. So that's, um, that white thing is a chewed substrate, probably from a piece of wood. The larvae have chewed it up and spread it in the other substrate. So now you see here, it's, it's something is moving on the knees, this, yeah, look here. So probably if we press again it comes out then let's see whether the larvae emerges from the substrate that would be a nice view but I'm not sure because that wouldn't be normal that they come out they probably try much more to hide or to stay hidden in the substrate so this must be a larvae too let's see where she is yeah, uh -huh. yeah this is chewed up uh, wood so let's see it's, it's kind of a where she are here. Yeah, that's it. So that was the chamber where the larvae was was in here. And here's the larvae. It's not so big as the last one, it, but of course it's also a male. You see that the the big hatch capsule of the larvae is this 26.3. So we do the same. Oh no, this is probably a female. No, that's difficult to say from here, but I would guess um, that it's a male. So, they are still slurry. That Ah, here's the piece of oak wood that I put in just to see 
uh, and of course the lobby has dug out a beautiful tunnel in this piece of log. So you see, uh, I want to show you see this a bit down here. You see this piece of, uh, what is it? Oh, uh, it's beech wood. And the lobby just carved out a beautiful uh, little cave where she lives. And now probably if we wait a little longer, we will see that she's all also uh, pupating inside uh, this small cave here. So we just put her back the same as we found the lorry. And also here we wait for three months, I say. That would be a good... So it I mean, now it's around beginning of August. So we will... It will be in November or so till the, the males emerge. Females are already here. That's not that's such a big problem for also Pocoilus giraffa because uh, the animals seem to um, live pretty long. So if we are lucky, we can keep the females and have then some beautiful uh, and also big, as you've seen, uh, adults uh, to see in around three months. We come back and uh, check them. Thanks for watching.